Hi, I'm Dr. Stram from Elk Grove Pet Clinic. I just wanted to uh, talk to you briefly about uh, laser therapy. We have a class 4 laser that we use for a variety of uh, treatments on our uh, dog and cat patients. Um, it's not limited to dog and cats. It, uh, it's been used uh, in horses, been used in human medicine, used in exotic animal medicine. Uh, it's a unique system of uh, treatment that uh, can be used to put energy into an area to help uh, heal it, uh, reduce inflammation, reduce pain, increase blood flow, increase uh, the ability for the area to, to heal. Uh, we have uh, a companion therapy laser. It's, uh, like I said, a class 4. It's a 10-watt unit. They, uh, initially, it come out with a 4-watt unit, but this 10-watt uh, unit treats the animals two and a half times faster than the 4-watt unit. The, uh, the theory is to get a certain amount of energy in the form of joules into an area to do the treatment. Treatment uh, with a 10-watt laser is relatively quick. Uh, most treatments can be done anywhere between uh, two minutes and eight minutes. Uh, we've been using the laser to treat post-surgical sites. It uh, helps eliminate pain at the site and helps increase the uh, healing, or basically decrease the healing time um, of these incisions. Uh, we use them to treat ear infections and reduce the pain and swelling in a badly infected ear. We treat skin conditions, burns, scrapes, any kind of sores, hot spots, uh, respond well to this kind of therapy. Uh, we use it for arthritis. Uh, we treat the animals that are uh, in bad shape and maybe that cannot, cannot take some of the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that we would normally use to treat arthritis in these patients. And we could use this as a drug-free alternative type therapy. The, um, uh, some of the, the benefits, um, it, uh, it does reduce inflammation. It uh, increases blood flow to the area to get things to heal quicker. It, uh, it also is a photo stimulator of acupuncture points. So all the benefit that you would get from using acupuncture in a patient, um, this can stimulate those, those points and you'd get the same kind of benefit, uh, only you're not using needles to uh, stimulate these points. Uh, we had a, a dog not too long ago that was so painful in her hips that she was trying to help herself, trying to heal herself and relieve the pain by licking her hip area. Well, she had managed to lick her fur off of this area just because she was trying to, to get it to feel better. Well, we started her on a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory because we knew she was in pain and she allowed all of her hair to grow back because the pain had gone away and she wasn't licking anymore. Well, after a certain amount of time, we realized that she had developed kidney disease. Um, she was an older dog, and, uh, and, and it is a disease we'll see in older dogs. Well, when we discovered she did develop this kidney disease, we no longer wanted to keep her on the drug um, because we were afraid it might harm her kidneys further. We stopped the drug. She started licking her hair again and licked all of the hair off of her hips because of her pain. We started using the companion animal laser on her and after four treatments she stopped licking her hip area again and after six treatments we noticed that most of her hair was growing back in that area and uh, now she comes in for just regular maintenance. Um, I believe it's about once a month now she gets treatments and, um, and she's doing very, very well without uh, the drug and without the side effects of the drug. 
Um, it may not work in every single patient, but uh, it's definitely worth a try. Uh, we use it on a regular basis, uh, especially post surgery, um, declawed cats and spays and neuters and dogs and cats. It does uh, tend to relieve the pain and, uh, and help the incisions heal a lot quicker. So it's a nice alternative uh, that we have and, uh, and we enjoy using it and we enjoy seeing the benefits of this, uh, this therapy.